Hey, thanks for joining my channel again. This is going to be a quick unboxing slash review on something we all use when we're mountain biking, or at least a lot of us use, I know I do, and it's on gloves. I have always used like Fox or Race Face or 661, um, you know, just big brand name stuff. I've always used that stuff. Never used the little guy until now. So I've really paid attention to other people's YouTube videos. I've watched them, right, to see who does them good, who does them bad. Trying to learn how to do mine better is what I really am getting at. But what I have noticed is a lot of YouTubers are using these gloves from a company called Hand Up. And I'm like, I've never heard of Hand Up. I'm old school. I have no idea who that is. So I looked them up and I was looking at all the funky colors they've got, the crazy designs they've got. But I couldn't get over the fact that everyone keeps raving about these gloves. So I broke down. And I bought me not one, but two sets of gloves, and I bought a pair of socks. We'll see if those are good too. So I'm gonna open these suckers up, we're gonna take a look at it together, and then uh, after I open them up, you won't be able to see this in real time, but then I'll go on the trail with them, we'll see what they feel like, if they're comfortable, if they're too tight, too small. I have kind of big hands, <laughs> if you see that, and I got a fucked up finger from Trying to trying to be a fighter, which is just don't do it. It hurts. Anyway, um, so I got big hands, so I bought double extra large. We will see if they fit good or if they fit too tight or too loose. Who knows? Maybe a double extra large might be too big. Maybe I'm not as big as I think I am. Don't ask my wife. Anyway, let's try these on. Let's see what they're like. Let's open them up and see how cool they look. Thanks so much. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so let's open these guys up here. Do I even need this? I don't know. Let's see. I might not even need it. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's do it. I'm sure I'm going crazy. I think I think we're open here. I don't want to destroy what's on the side here. go all right so right on the top is the socks I bought just kind of like your basic socks nothing too crazy just some some cool colors you know what I mean just check it out they look pretty cool we'll see how they fit and how they wear on the trails here is the gloves so I went with Again, I wanted a little bit of a funky color, so try it out. I think these were called the Sedonas, I believe. Let me see if it's on here. Let me see here. I stand correct. They were called the Shred Donas. So kind of like your Arizona colors and stuff, but shred. Because they're cool. <laughs> so they're cool. Those are in double extra large. So let's hope these fit great. Try them on a second. And then, come on, uh, I love camo. I can't help myself. So if I see camo, I gotta buy camo. Those are pretty nice. I really like the, uh, and it's like a true camo design. It's not like some weird, it's just old school. I'm an old school guy. So we'll try these on and we'll see what they're like. Well, these gloves are my new hand up gloves. And they are pretty darn comfortable. A bit more padding in the palms, which I like, than my Fox and some of the other ones I've used in the past. I like them. There we go. As you saw, my grip, they're so grippy, I gripped a leaf. But these things are great. Stylish, comfortable. The only negative things I'd say whew, is they don't breathe as much as I'd like them to breathe. I got really big hands. So these are a double extra large. And they could be a little looser. You know what I mean? I could have a bit more room. That's a double extra large. So hand, hand up. Let's do a triple extra large. Send me a pair. We'll see how 
fat guys like them. <laughs> I love when I say I'm a fat guy all the time because then people meet me like, uh, I thought you'd be fatter. Because I'm not really fat, I'm just big. But it's funnier when I say fat. Um, anyway, back to my review of these. Pretty cool gloves. They're really nice, they're colorful, which I like. You get tons of different colors. I got some camo ones too, because you know me, I love camo. Look at these gloves, I like how they, they handle the bars really nice. You know what I mean? They're not sliding around in the bars. If you get all sweaty, they do have enough on them that you can wipe your brow and actually get the sweat off your face. You're just not pushing it around. So that's good. There we go. Up the hill, down the hill. Yeah, these gloves, they rock. I don't mind them at all, like I said. Just two things, the one being, they get a little hot. The second thing is when you're putting them on, maybe so I just have big hands, but I'll get the one on no problem. And the second one, the second one will be like, oh, that's fun. Second one will be like not really connecting well on the wrist. I had like it folds onto itself a bit. By the way, that trail was fucking awesome. No berms really per se, but fun nonetheless. So these guys, really grippy. I like them. What did I buy them again? For sure. Price is right. It's just the shipping when you're in Canada. Shipping sucks. Oh, but got them quick. Badass. So not only the gloves are really cool, I, I got suckered in with a cool pair of socks. <laughs> I couldn't resist the color. I've always loved McDonald's. Now I feel like Ronald McDonald. They kind of match these guys, but not really. I just thought they were cool, and I was already buying two pairs of gloves. I thought, why the hell not? Let's try them out. And you know what? To be honest, they're comfortable. They're not bad at all. I can't remember the price of these guys, but they're good. Oh boy. The goat path. Oh God. It's all in the name. The goat path. Anyways, I like the gloves, I like the socks. So go ahead, man. If you're thinking about it, give them an order. They're great. <laughs>